Katie, did you hear that Martha got named as Lawyer of the Year? Martha who? Your good friend Martha Howe. You're kidding, right? I'm totally serious. Lawyer of the Year. I don't even think she's the best lawyer in this building. Well, I'm not even sure how we can tell if she is a good lawyer, seeing as the only people that she represents are either incompetent or dead. True. Do you think maybe it was best dressed lawyer she got? You're right. That makes a lot more sense. It makes much more sense. That must yeah, be what it, what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, what always comes to your mind first when you think about Martha? Her clothes, obviously. Here's a woman who laughs at me because I buy ties for $4.99, and she's offered at times to say, Mike, I'll sell one of my jackets, and you can buy an entire wardrobe for two weeks. Well, when I first heard that Martha had, uh, had received this award, I said to myself, why is she getting it and not me? Obviously, I'm far more qualified than she is uh, to receive the award, but um, with that said, I'm happy for her in a uh, genuine sort of way. Good evening, members of the bar. I am truly honored and humbled to receive the Norm Damore Lawyer of the Year Award. Unfortunately, I can't be there with you tonight to give you what may have been a very long and boring speech, but my brother, I'm so grateful for him to be there to accept the award on my behalf. A sincere thank you to the board of the Greater Lowell Bar. The GLBA has a long storied history, and I know this because I have two wall hangings in my office handed down to me by the late Sidney Rindler. One is of a meeting of the bar at Corbett's Pond in 1930. Another one is a schedule of fees that every member of the bar had to sign. And in 1953, Sidney Rindler signed that schedule where a consultation was $10. I love being a lawyer. Every day is an adventure. Every day is a challenge that requires focus stamina and strategy so that clients who come into the office and are in need of assistance get the best representation possible. We all know that this profession is extremely difficult and demanding but it is also so satisfying and rewarding. There are so many people that I want to thank for this. First and foremost is my mother Mary Howe she is the rock of our family and she has provided me with guidance and love that has enabled me and really every member of my family to thrive. And uh, she makes the best caramels in the world. Thank you so much to my father, Richard Howe, the greatest mentor in the world. I was so fortunate to work side by side with him for 20 years. He taught me that the keys to success were hard work, perseverance, and courage. We did every type of case imaginable together. We had a trial in federal court in New Hampshire, and in the middle of the trial, the judge called us into chambers and he said, Mr. Howe, I don't know what your case is about, and if I don't know what your case is about, this jury doesn't have a clue. Well, I was devastated, but my father had this incredible ability when he was down for the count to roar back 20 times stronger. It was like throwing gasoline into a fire. We ended up winning that case. He carried this fighting spirit in every aspect of his life, including his family and politics. And when I drive over that Richard P. Howe Bridge, I am so honored. The plaque on the bridge identifies him first and foremost as an attorney. Thank you to my brother Dick Howe Jr., an accomplished lawyer and register of deeds. Whenever I have a complex legal question, I can call him up and he answers the question immediately. I like to say that one of the turning points in my life came uh, when uh, I, who am considerably older than Martha, started to become known around all as Martha's brother, as opposed to um, me in my, my own right. And uh, that was a pretty good sign to me that Martha had achieved a certain stature in the community that I found very uh, very satisfying. Thank you to my brother, Peter Howe, CEO and President of Faye Spofford and Thorndike. Not only does he provide me with help every day, but he is the reason that my father and I were successful in one of the most difficult cases in my legal career. 
Martha has, this, has the best qualities of both my mother and father. And she has my father's tenacity and his passion for the law, and she has my mother's compassion for people, her sense of style, and her attention to detail. She combines all that into, into a great person, and she does a great job for her clients. Thank you so much to my nieces and nephews. They are like winning the lottery and getting a payoff every day. She's like the fun aunt who would always bring us on um, like adventures and go to all different places, Washington, D.C. and She used to take my little sister and I to New York every year around our birthdays. And she would take us to the most expensive store and have us buy the most expensive item. She was always so proud to introduce us into that world of fashion from New York City. Thank you to my secretary, Lorraine Freitas, who has been with me from day one. She is a loyal ally and has covered me every step of the way. I've worked for the Howe family all my entire career. And actually, I started with Mr. Howe right out of high school. I worked for Richard Howe Sr. for 35 years. And now I work for Martha for a few years now. And she's just done a great job. And I love working in this office. I always have. It's, there's never been a dull moment. Thank you to Walter Chambers, a great friend to my father and me. And thank you, Walter, for always, always making us laugh. Finally, I have the greatest friends who have provided me support and guidance throughout my entire career. Some of them were able to take time out of their busy schedule to come in and say a few words. Having known Ma for a lot of years, oftentimes I see her advocacy on behalf of uh, many of her clients. I specifically would say some of her clients that she represents who are uh, elderly, who she takes care of them and fights for them and advocates for them in, in, in the way that Louis Brandeis would be proud of. Uh, just a fabulous lawyer, but somebody who cares passionately about those people that she represents. She's my best friend. I love her dearly and she deserves this because she now herself has become a protector of the underdog, a true champion for the people who can't represent themselves. They don't have the capacity to. The elderly in this community have a real champion in Martha and I think her peers are recognizing her for that and I think it's wonderful. She comes from a family that's brought such great honor and integrity in the service of the law, part of a great law firm. And I think uh, in her tenure as a lawyer, as she has become a lawyer, uh, she has certainly lived up to those standards. And again, too, just her great involvement with the community as well. It's not just about serving her clients, which is always the utmost of utmost importance to anybody uh, who is a lawyer, but also what she brings to the community as well. I've been working very closely with attorney Howe uh, for some time now. Um, she's representing a loved one of mine and I couldn't be happier for this person. She, she has shown me that she's just not a lawyer. She's a human being who has compassion, immense dedication, and she cares. She ensures that every case that she gets, every client that she represents, that she works to the best of her abilities at that. And I think it, uh, it certainly shows in the results that she achieves. And I think uh, her peers within the legal profession have recognized that as well. I've worked closely with her on some of the elder service cases. And those cases are difficult cases. We find elders in neglectful situations. Uh, she's the type of person, and I'll give you an example of what happened on a recent case. She goes out and delivers water to this woman at 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Um, you know, I think it was even on a weekend, which she was probably just getting back from the club at that point. But uh, in any event, those are the types of things that, that Martha does as a lawyer and as a, you know, a caring citizen that gets, you know, people like me saying she's well deserving of an award like this. 25 years ago, I remember meeting Norm Damore. I can think of no higher honor to be recognized by my bar association in his name. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. Hope everyone enjoys the evening. Thank you so much.